Hey gamers, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Anniversary Collection with Kirby's Adventure. Uh, I'm QB Dragon because I'm finally introducing myself after two episodes of not doing it. Um, I don't really know why. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop with that intro because I don't really like it. It's kind of stupid. Uh, well, not in not introducing myself, but just like introduce introducing by not introducing. It's stupid. Anyways, hi gamers, welcome back to Kirby's Adventure. I'm QB Dragon, aka Drake Havoc or Fox Wyvern, take your pick. Um, but don't pick the enemies because... But don't pick at the enemies because they're jerks and they'll take away your powers. And here we have a starry area and this is the enemy that gives you the UFO power. I'm going to try to hold on to it this time. I'd really like to, you know, just because. Uh, more UFO guys are going to come out. You're going to want to be careful about them. So UFO is, uh, I didn't get a chance to explain it last time because I lost it so freaking fast. But uh, UFO has four basic attacks. It has the beam ability, which is very useful in getting rid of all sorts of things. It has a laser ability, which you can get if you hold, it, hold down the uh, one button very briefly before... Th uh, letting go. For this one, it's just a straight tap. This one you hold down very briefly. Uh, that one you gotta hold down a little longer. And then this one is uh, his most powerful attack. It's, it's, uh, well, it's really powerful, as you saw. It took that guy out in one, one good shot. Uh, watch out for Gordos. You're not invincible. You're just very strong. Uh, you should. We all know you're, we all know you're not invincible as UFO Kirby. We all remember how badly I failed, and uh, we have one of these little areas, which is uh, kind of odd. But what's that one little block doing doing in that little area? It looks out of place, right? Well, it is out of place, and for good reason because it's hiding a secret, a secret button. So we stomp on the button, and this is where you start seeing more uh, buttons in stages in Grape Gardens. You start to see way more. Which makes sense since Grape Gardens is stage 4 out of 7. Uh, kill Tornado Guy before he becomes... Uh, the Tornado Guys become invincible when they actually start their Tornado thing. I still haven't shown this guy's power, have I? I'm gonna try to avoid showing that guy's power, power at least uh, while I can. But if I get a chance, I will show it off. Because uh, it's one you should avoid. And I'll show why when I get a, when I get that chance, and I will get that chance. I, I promise. If I if I don't get that chance, I'll make that chance. But uh, basically, you just want to know to avoid it because it does have a power, but it's a pretty useless power. In fact, it's so useless I don't that everyone avoids it. If you played Kirby, you know what I'm talking about. But this is information for people who haven't played Kirby. So if you have played Kirby, you don't really need to say anything. And I dropped Big Fat Kirby again. Big surprise. You need to be spot on when picking up Big Kirby. Uh, you're, it's not gonna be easy. Sometimes you can get him like a little bit over to the left, but it's really hard to do. And I have him by his feet. Uh, okay, that was a waste of a crane game. That's okay. Um... Yeah, I think from this point on, I'm going to stop doing the minigames because they, they just waste time, and uh, I'm not that good at them anyways. So, yeah, forget the minigames. I'm just going to go through Grape Gardens uh, as fast as I can, uh, beating up on enemies, uh, just going through. Uh, in later games, these uh, those guys with the caps... We'll give off the bomb ability, but bomb was not a power-up in this game, so uh, they don't give off powers in this game. So if you played future Kirby games, but not this one, now you know these guys don't give off the bomb ability. Uh, because it wasn't around back then, so, you know, so sad. Uh, something to note, if an enemy is not a water enemy, then it will become immobile in water, and after a short period of time, it will drown. So, uh... So not only will you you lose powers in water, but you can have also a chance to kill your enemies if you're, you know, good. Um, in here is a, another secret area, but it doesn't have a button. It just has a maximum tomato, and we don't need it, so I'm not even going to get it. Uh, the only, honestly, the only reason I went in there was because I thought it had a button. 
Not joking. Thought it had a button. Didn't have a button. We don't need to go in there because it doesn't have a button. Button, button, button. Um, go in here if you need the health, which I now do because I ran in. I ran straight into the spikes there. And uh, okay, no, no, no. Okay, so enemies are not affected by spikes. That's useful to know. And your stars are affected by spikes. Well, your power-up stars are. Oh man, not, not cool. Just not cool. This is not, not cool at all. Okay, got both bombs, so throw it through both of them. And if you manage to kill one but not the other, use the crash power on that one. It'll knock him out. And uh, now you have crash. Now you have an extra crash Kirby for the next stage. So that's uh, stage two of Grape Gardens, I think. Is it stage two or stage three? I don't know. I don't remember the number. It was stage two. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah. So. Ow. Oh wait, that's right. Um. So. This is a rope, as you can tell. And since there's a fire guy down there, you'd expect that you, expect that you can burn it, which you can. And it starts that. Uh, cannon over there the thing burns all the way and when it gets to the cannon it blows up and if you're inside it you get access to a secret area normally you'd use fire kirby but since we have crash kirby it can actually do pretty much the same thing so start it with crash kirby if you can if not start it with fire kirby hop in the cannon do a little jig if you want and then get blasted up into the sky where there's a one-up waiting for you and uh jump back in the cannon jump back out of the cannon and now we're in an airship. I have no idea how a ground area transitions to the sky, but uh, apparently it does in Kirby, so... Okay. Whatever you say, Kirby. Or whatever you poyo. Um, so basically you just want to keep going right, 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 right... Uh, until you get to the edge of the screen. And then you're going to want to double back, and it's a little hard, but you see that little door there? You're going to want to go in there, and there's your button, which will show off the uh, power museum. That's what it's called. Ah, watch out for the umbrella. And so now you're going to want to fight the wind and try to get up here to that door that we saw before. Watch out for the cannons, because they're still jerks. And so this is the proper way to go to the stage. There's Sir Kibble. Hey Kibble, we have your power, or had your power until you jer jerked us around because of the wind and because we can't control the direction of our uh, of our cutters in this game. In later games, you can control like that, like you can angle the cutters so that they go up or down, but it doesn't work in this game. And that was another crash guy. That's okay. Um, okay, so that's a wall. Whoa, almost ran into another one of those flying jerks. But so now we have the warp star, and now we're warping away, because uh, we don't need to be here anymore. So now we want to jump up the bubbly, fluffy clouds. Um, and there's the end of the, end of the stage star. So go through, jump up, and uh, well, we keep getting ones and twos, and sometimes threes. That's okay, I'm good with that. So... That opens up world or er, area four. Uh, jump down here. What powers are in the museum today? Sleep and ball. Perfect chance to show off Sleep Kirby. This is Sleep Kirby. It does nothing. It does worse than nothing. It makes you sit still, which um, is not good if you've got a bunch of enemies bearing down your neck. Uh, that's why everybody avoids Sleep Kirby. It, it literally does nothing, and then you lose it. And this is Ball Kirby, another one-off ability in Kirby's Adventure. Uh, basically, it's just a bouncy ball that you can go up and down and all around with. Uh, if you hold the jump button, then Kirby starts flashing, and when he's flashing, he does damage to enemies. But when he's not flashing, he will be damaged. Uh, holding the jump button also makes Kirby bounce higher. It's not that great of an ability, and... Uh, uh, Honestly, it's... I, I don't recommend it at all. Um, I'll show it off in the boss battle. I'll probably lose it. See? Already lost it. Because it sucks that bad. And I'm just getting my... I'm just being beaten up. 
by... by... I think this is a more advanced version of Bugsy. He seems to be, because he's gray and he seems to be moving a lot faster. And his bugs are... No! And he beat me up again. Oh well, I think one more hit from him and he's going to kill me. But one more hit to him and he dies because we had a superstar attack with. So now we have Backdrop, which is much more useful than Ball Kirby. Um... Well, it's marginally better. It's not that... It's still not that great, but it's, you know, it's a little better at least. Oh, cool. I didn't know that you had an air version of that. Uh, but it seems to be that one throw. I can't really control what he does when he's uh, throwing in the air. That's okay. Um, oh, crap. Birds. Scarfy! Run away from the Scarfy. Uh, just, just run. Just ignore enemies. Run. Enemies don't give you HP experience anyways. Um, here's Wheel Kirby, and here's that section where we can... Uh, use Wheel Kirby to our advantage. Uh, as you can see, the explosion thing is trying to outpace us, and we're trying to outpace the explosion. And we did it, just barely, but we got the one-up for that. Um, okay, we're coming up against another enemy. I'm not sure which one of these I want more. Um, I'm not sure if I want to stick with Wheel or take you know, I'm going to take Beam, just because it's, uh, it's a long-range attack, whereas the other two we had available to us were short-range. Uh, this guy is... Funnily enough, this guy uh, looks like a turtle now, but in later games, he's actually an elephant. Which makes no sense to me. But, uh, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, don't let him get close to you, because this guy has the throw ability. If he grabs, if he touches you, he will throw you, and, uh, it'll hurt. Well, it, it will, it'll look painful. It'll only take off one, one, uh, point, you know, like most of them. But you, you don't want to get hit with it, because it's, it's still annoying to get hit with. And so, this is Throw Kirby. Uh, it can be angled in multiple directions, like that. Uh, I'm not really making that much use of it right now, but that's okay. Uh, you know, why don't I just pause the game and look at the description? That's a thing you can do in this game. You can pause the game, and if you have a power, you'll be able to look at the description of it. So, uh, you know, we'll just do that to look at what Throw can do, and then we'll discard it, because it's not really that great. Um, Kirby can grab an enemy and toss it away like a star. Use an enemy to beat others. And you can use, and you can throw enemies in multiple directions. Which it doesn't tell you, but you can. Ooh, invincibility from Mr. Masked Man. Thank you, Mr. Masked Stranger, for helping us again. Even though you've sicked your other guys on us twice. You know, uh, you know those weird guys. Which is kind of weird. At, at some points, uh, the Mr. Masked Stranger. Okay, I'll, I'll be. Okay, I'll be. I'll stop calling him that. Uh, Meta Knight will toss his enemies at you, but at other times, he. Uh, um. What? Okay. Confusion. We'll let the confusion set in, won't we? Um, but so Meta Knight will, like, like here, he's tossing enemies at you, but earlier in the stage, he th literally threw me one of the best power-ups in the game. Um, so, okay, screw Sword, because it's literally useless. Aw, oh, you jerk. Uh, yeah, the Sword is literally useless against these guys. It's of no help whatsoever. Uh, that's because these guys take more than the average number of hits to kill. Honestly, you're just better off swallowing these guys, because swallowing them only takes an instant, whereas every other attack seems to require two hits to kill them, which doesn't really make sense, does not compute, however you want to put it. Um, ow! I'm running into everything! Um, but, yeah, so... Ow, Gordos! Watch out for Gordos! Oh man, I hate Gordos! No, 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 no. Okay, phew. Wow, that was 
That was very close. No, no, no! Oh, and they killed me. But the Okay, so now we have Gordos. And I got hit again because I wasn't watching. Um. Then again, I probably would have gotten hit anyways. Because I'm just not playing that well in this stage, and holy crap, that was close. Um. Okay. I Ow! Okay, whatever. Just let me through, let me through! I swear if there's a, a button in this area that I missed, I'm going to be so angry. Got up to stage w one so we get our li health, our life back. <coughs> Give me my life back! <laughs> Please let there not have been a button there. No button, no button, no button, no whammy, no whammy. Yes! Thank you! Okay, so on to stage six, which in all fairness probably does have a button. Ignore the Scarfy, I don't want to mess with him. Um, oh yeah, and you can't fire stars underwater in this game either, as uh, I just demonstrated. They just kind of sit there. I mean, if you're lucky, an enemy will run into it, but it disintegrates pretty fast. So, you know, not really... I wouldn't really hold your breath for that. Get it? Hold your breath, because you're underwater. Ha 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 ha! I know, bad joke. Okay. But, what going on at once? Causing slowdowns. Did you, like, fire something, Mr. Fireball Guy? Because I saw nothing. Okay, uh, so I probably should mention the correct way of beating this guy. You saw the notes that he spits out of you? Uh, those are swabbled. Those are, uh, you can, you can eat the notes and spit them out back at him. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. And, uh, now, because normally, uh, you need a light power-up in order to see what you're doing, but I already know that there's a door right here, so I'm just gonna go through right now and get the button, because I knew it was there the whole time, because I've done this stage before. And, uh... Now you know, too. So now you can find doors in the dark. But, uh, I'm still gonna get Mr. Light and, uh, show you the door anyway, just in case. Because this is the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to light up the area, and then you're supposed to double back and th and uh, see the door right there. Yeah, so, you know. Um, watch out. Ow! I'm sick of those flying jerks! And I'm sick of the stiff controls in this game. I mean, they're not, they're not that stiff, but, like, when it comes down to precise, um... When it comes down to precision dodging, like dodging enemies' attacks precisely, the controls feel really stiff for some reason. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Basically, uh, so what you want to do here to get that one up is hit this one here, and then you want to go down and hit this one, which bombs the one up up to that little space. And you want to hit this one, which bombs the one up 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 one space further. Now you have a one up. Now you can move on, and you have and you're stoned as well. So. Let's continue on while we're stoned, man. Uh, get the get the capsule, which no doubt has more druggies for us. And two, not bad. We're dancing because we're stoned. <coughs> Let's stone the boss, shall we? Uh, but you don't want to have stone here. What you want is high jump. High jump is the most useful power-up for this boss fight. Trust me. Uh, and they give you lots of opportunities to get it, too. So if it wasn't obvious, they're giving you these high jump guys for a reason. If the game gives you a ton of opportunities to get the same power-up, maybe you should think about getting that power-up. Um, so there goes Cracko Jr. flying upwards. And, oh, it's not Cracko Jr., it's full-on Cracko! And he has a couple more tricks in this game. He has that lightning bolt attack. Uh, he still does that, which is less annoying in this game because uh, uh, you have powers. But uh, he also spits out high jump people instead of waddle doos. So again, game's giving you power up. Maybe you should think about using it. Uh, if you don't use it, then you pretty much uh, use the same strategy as you did in Kirby's Adventure. Uh, to dodge that uh, lightning bolt attack, you just want to fly above him like that. I don't know how I managed to avoid getting hit when I was inside him. Uh, I guess it's because of invincibility flashing for him? I don't know. Whatever, it helped us. That was uh, Grape Gardens. That was the 
fourth um that was the fourth boss fourth level and fourth everything so now we're on to level five yogurt yard and in case you haven't noticed by now all the uh, level names uh, have that uh, double have that same thing where they do the double letter I, I think it's I don't know the name I know there's a name for when you use the same letter at the beginning of when you use two words that begin with the same letter multiple times in a title I know there's a word for that but I don't remember the word uh, I'm rambling let's move on to stage one and after stage one yeah after stage one I'm gonna cut the uh, I'm whoa I didn't realize, holy crap, I forgot I had high jump for a minute. I, I, I was trying to eat that Waddle D down there, and I was like, why can't I eat him? Because you have high jump, stupid. That's why. Uh, let's get rid of high jump the painful way, shall we? Kill that guy before he blows up. Oh, and uh, you might have noticed there's something down there. Really hard to get. Oh, okay, especially because uh, you can go through the bottom of the clouds. Uh, that's... But if you can get down here, then there's a secret up here. It gets you a one-up and uh, two stone guys together. So, come on, stonies. Come on. Okay, so they're just going to walk forward until they hit a wall, which they will. And uh, when they hit that wall, quickly go in, eat them, and let it run down to UFO Kirby. Uh, that's what I was talking about a couple of episodes ago, where if you eat the same power-ups uh, uh, multiple times, the same double power, uh, the same two power-ups, uh, and then let it run down both times, it'll end with the same power, because uh, that's just how it works. Um, so I'm just going to avoid everything here, because I don't really feel like dealing with uh, all those enemies, and secret here, instead of going through that door like they clearly want you to, what you want to do is go down here, and look, there's a button! We pressed a button! You got a button! You got a pin! Because button and pin are the same thing! What do you mean it's not the same thing? Yes it is, a button and a pin are the same thing! Oh, a different kind of button, that's why. I'm being stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. Watch out for ice. Watch out for ice, guys, it'll steal away your UFO power. And, uh, we reach the end of the stage with UFO, which means we don't get to keep it. How sad, bad dad. I stole that from someone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a thief. I'm sorry for stealing your lines, your bagels, your cream cheese. Um, we have, we can... Okay, we're going to get stoned. Whenever you have a choice between getting stoned and something else, always get stoned. Because getting stoned is just awesome. Um, it's also really relaxing, man. It, like, helps the environment and stuff. Uh, and getting others stoned is, like, the best thing you can ever do for a person because... Like, getting them stoned helps them feel good and stuff. So, yeah. Get stoned. Okay, so there's something I didn't see coming. Uh, in the remake, if you jump... If you use the stone ability from the top of water and fall into the water, you'll float down to the bottom as a stone. It seems that wasn't quite implemented in the original version. Scarfies! And they blow up even when you run into them. And the coconuts do not kill them in this game. Not fun. Always avoid Scarfies. They are the bane of every Kirby's existence. Um. Hullabaloo. Hullabaloo and howdy do. Musty prongs and Timbuktu. I forget the rest. Uh, I forget the next limerick. Kick him in the dishpan. Woo hoo hoo. Um, <laughs> so yeah, forget the rest of that limerick, which is disappointing. Go through there to get a 1-up, uh, and fly up here for hammer. Stop! Hammer time! Ow! Ow! Okay, I'm just gonna beat him the regular way, because uh, honestly we need that hammer anyways. We don't need it now, but we will need it later. Trust me, it's for a, uh, 
It's for a, um... It's for a school project. Yeah. That's right. School project. You didn't see anything. Um... If you go down here, be careful, you can fall to your death, but if you go down here, there is a 1-up that you can get. And now we run through the end of the stage, and we have 27 Kirby's. And I forgot to end the video at the last at the end of the last level. So I'm going to have to end it here. So um yeah. Have a good day everybody. See you next time. Bye.